The 3 inch diameter section of the complex pipe circuit is filled with approximately 20 litres of yoghurt. The yoghurt is then displaced using mains water. We are only able to see the yoghurt water interface at the pipe wall and cannot see any ratting of water through the central portions of the yoghurt cylinder as it is being displaced. The water flush does a reasonable job. However, there are waves of yogurt which come off the pipe walls for a long time, leading to large volumes of water being used and large volumes of white water being generated. The output from the system during the water flush is recovered, and only one container of pure product is obtained, while many containers of compromised product, i.e. waste, are generated. The process is repeated using the ice pig. The yogurt in the 3 inch pipe is now displaced with an ice slurry. The ice slurry can be pumped at much lower flow rates than water, as its ability to displace product and clean pipe walls is only weakly affected by flow speed. All experimental and theoretical evidence suggests that provided the flow speeds are higher than say 10 centimeters per second, the ice pig performs extremely well. Clearly, the ice pig is not perfect, and there is some mixing at the interface between the yogurt and the ice pig. This could, however, have been reduced by introducing a thicker ice pig with a higher ice fraction. However, ice pigs are not perfect pigs, and there is always some degree of mixing at the interface. Approximately 15 litres of ice pig is introduced, and then mains water is used to pump the ice pig through the system. The water ice interface is easier to observe than the previous ice yogurt interface. Again, the interface is not perfect, but it is extremely sharp and does look very good. Further, note that the glass walls now look clean. There seems to be no yogurt left anywhere. Only 15 litres of ice pig was used and whatever volume of water which is required to fill the tube inventory. This is a considerable saving in water, but more important than this are the following. 1. Significant quantity of product is actually recovered, which can be sold on as prime product. 2. Less effluent is produced, which results in the elimination or reduced need for effluent treatment works. 3. The cleaning process or product changeover occurs in a shorter time, increasing the plant availability for product manufacturing. 4. The equipment is left much cleaner than with a water flush, reducing the amount of expensive and harsh CIP chemicals required.